Hello, Taurus says, how are we? Um, just a quick shout to Patrick. I watched that caption thing about the gorgeous balls. <laughs> what I mean, balls. I watched it, it's pretty funny. <laughs> so maybe I won't say that anymore. Um, or should I continue? Is that my thing? Um, hello, my gorgeous balls. How are we? Sorry I missed you all yesterday. Um, Ned busy and my mind was completely elsewhere. And those of you that do channel messages, I didn't want to risk not channeling yours and channeling somebody else's because someone in particular was very much on my mind yesterday. I uh, was praying for him all day. He was going through something very big yesterday. So I didn't want to deliver a shit reading. If I'm being dead honest with you. So hi everyone. How are we? How are we? If you're new to the channel, please do subscribe. If you are returning, I love you all. So, guys, I've got a beautiful new oracle deck. It's called The Universe Has Your Back. First time using it. It's gorgeous. It's by Gabrielle Bernstein. 52 card deck. Um, you know, it's inspiring. It offers spiritual guidance that helps you find strength when you're down. Um, synchronicity and support when you are lost. Safety in the face of, un in the face of uncertainty. And join our circumstances. Love. Love that. All about the positive vibes. Yes. So, place Taurus in your birth chart any way you like. Cross um, some of Mars and Venus. Cross watchers always welcome. What do we have for Taurus today, Spirit? What advice do we have for Taurus? What do you want Taurus to know? Got some Paolo Santo burning as well. It smells absolutely heavenly in here. It smells divine. Is what it smells like in here. Divine. Love that. Mm. Okay, thank you. Let's get messages for Taurus, please. I'm just going to get a few from here. See what it's saying. So how was our weekends? I've got a set of people around me, you know what? I just... mad. <laughs> I won't go into detail. Um, I will another day. Okay. Thank you, universe, for helping me see beyond the limits of fear. Thank you for expanding my perceptions so that I can see what is in the what is of the highest good. Okay, so I love this because I have said before now about showing gratitude, you know what I mean? You know, being grateful, especially in personal readings, you know, if you know, showing showing the universe gratitude and you know, being grateful for your blessings, it only allow it only then brings you on more. You know, you get more feeling of abundance, more feeling of blessings. If you are acknowledging you know, finding your blessings rather than problems and things like that. So I love that. I love that energy. You know, if you were not necessarily in this energy right now, maybe this is your advice. You know, be grateful. Count your blessings, not your problems is exactly what I get from that. Tell me more. But I feel like you're doing it. Whoa. Mm, good men are outside. Some of you are taking out the rubbish. Oh, love this. Energy flows where my intention goes. Love that. So you're powerful. So you're powerful. Law of attraction. Energy flows where my intention goes. So make sure your intentions are absolutely where you want them to be for what you want to come back to. Yeah, do you know what I mean? What you give out is what you get. So make sure your energy that's flowing is exactly what you want to come back as. Where my intention goes. Make sure your intentions are pure. Always. Always, always. And what's these two of shouting for us? We'll take them. Oh no, three. We'll take them. Okay. My outer ex my my outer experiences are a reflection of my internal condition. Love that. So this is all about how are you triggered? Are you unbothered? Are you confident in yourself? Do you let someone else have control over your emotions rather than yourself? My outer experiences are a reflection of my internal condition. So I see that as how you respond. How you're responding or reacting to things, Taurus. You know, it's the same for people that project. People that project. Jealousy, you know, they're just angry or insecure. It's how, you know, I remember a while ago, right, when I first started watching Tarot, I used to watch um, a lady on YouTube and she always used to talk about not taking things personally from people. And when I first started on my spiritual journey, I used to think, well, how can you not? 
like to a degree, depending on who it is, yeah, absolutely. If it's a stranger and they just project it onto you, then yeah, don't take that personally. But it's someone that's supposed to love you or that you care about, and you know, that's someone that you love. Then how are you not supposed to take that personally? But listen, fast forward the clock a few years, a couple of years, and I don't let anything trigger me. If I know, then I know. If I'm confident, I'm confident. Don't matter what you're saying. Like, tell me the, the sky's like, tell me the sky's blue, but if I look at that sky and it's purple, I'm staying, I'm. I'm confident that it's purple, don't matter what you say. I'm not going to get into a debate over it, I'm not going to get into an argument over it, do you know what I mean? You're not going to trigger me. Does that make sense? And some of you are realising this, with the, you know, just with you showing your gratitude to the universe now, so you're receiving more abundance, you're getting more of a flow going on, and now the energy flows where my intention goes. So some of you have changed your intentions. I've said before now about wishing for karma, and wishing for people to get what they deserve, you don't need to. It's already in the, like, it's already out there. It's already in the universe, so you don't have to wish for it because it already is. So some of you have changed that up, and I love that. I'm actually proud of you for that if you've done that. But it's like you, you know, you're out to experience our reflection of your inner, like your internal condition. So it's like if you're if you're if you if you're not happy with yourself, you're going to project that onto other people. You know, people that call people for how they look, their images. Um, it's just a complete projection of yourself. It just is, and I don't care what anyone says. It just is. Like, if you're hateful toward other people, it's probably because you hate yourself in some kind of way, shape or form. So if you're in a position right now where you're just letting shit flow, you know, you know, you're in control of you, is exactly what I'm getting. Oneness is my true nature. Yep, you are at one with yourself. You're very grounded, Taurus. You are keeping yourself grounded. Again, unbothered, untriggered. I love that. Go you. And that's hey, listen, that's difficult for a Taurus because we're balls at nature, in nature, do you know what I mean? So we will charge. We will charge head on where we, you know, that red flag. It, normally, it's, you know, us as bulls, us as Tauruses, we will fight for what we believe in and we'll fight hard and heather, like we will. But it's like one of them you can't teach stupid. You're arguing with, or, you, you know, you're fighting with something that is just a pointless fight. So you're learning that. You're learning where and where, where and when it's worth it i think there is a stream of love supporting my dreams so yeah look some of you are saying so grounded and like you're trusting where you're at you're trusting that you're being led and guided down a certain path within a direction towards certain dreams there is a stream of love supporting my dreams so some of you also know that you're very protected you know there's a stream of love someone you know you are you know who you are you know who you are and I feel like you're very confident in that and comfortable. And it's like, it's, I feel like you're just getting shown more examples as to how and why you're on the right path. Why you should show gratitude. Why you should be unbothered and not, you know, untriggered by someone. Several people it could be. Because I feel like you might have a lot of people trying to make you buy it at home, to be honest, Taurus. In different ways. Different ways, different angles, different reasons. But, and you're just choosing to zen and stay in love, in the in the energy of love. Like, I'm going to give out love because, you know, that's who I am. You project onto me all you like. That's not me. That's on you. That's where I'm feeling you're at. And I love that. Did that make sense? Did that resonate? Because that's what I'm getting. Let me know. Let me know from that beautiful new Oracle deck. So, tarot time. So, take the time as it resonates. Oh, Listen, like, but you will chop an head off if it's necessary. Do you know what I mean? Don't test you. Don't push you too far, is what I'm getting, because then you show up straight away as the Queen of Swords. Don't take my kindness for weakness. That's what I'm getting. Oh, I love that. Is that, because you're busy and you're not fucking about. It's like, don't get in my way. Don't get in my way with your bullshit. Do you know what I mean? Don't project onto me. Like, oof. Hmm. Wow, some of you are getting a new, some of you are going to be entering into a new relationship soon or some kind of situation ship. It could be just chemistry for a little bit. Um, but some of you are moving on. Some of you could be moving home, moving location. You are moving into something new, passionate, exciting, creative, fire, spontaneous. Wish fulfillment, wish come true. Could be dealing with a cancer or an Aquarius. But you're healing from this. You're healing from heartbreak. 
I feel like you've got a lot of people that don't like you. Or, you know, there's just a lot of jealousy around you, I think. You know, so you're dealing with... I mean, I don't get done for swearing. I feel like it's it's how you swear and who you swear it at. Like, you might get demonetised on YouTube uh, when I'm watching a few other readers anyway. But, like, the intent of swearing is never malicious towards my viewers, okay? So I don't feel like I get demonetised. It's never told me that I'm going to anyway. So, basically, I feel like you've just been dealing with dickheads. I feel like you've been dealing with dickheads and it's like... Someone from your past showing up again. Liar, cheater, sneaker, could be an Aries. Someone that was a risk taker, someone didn't give a shit. I also seen in the pre-shuffle as well, you know like before, before these cards even came out, I seen you showing up as the Hierophant. Um, and the four stars in both decks when I was pre-shuffling, showing up as the Hierophant. So it's like staying, staying wise, staying mature, like... You're not letting anyone hinder your growth. That's what it is. You're not letting anyone drag you down. You won't be dragged down. You will stay elevated because, again, you're confident. You're on a spiritual journey. When, you are, when you're at a certain level, like, you're kind of dangerous. Do you know what I mean? And I feel like that's where you're at. Like, because if no one else can control your emotions, and 11-11 on the clock when I was saying that then, when I just walked up, no one else can control you. Not how you respond, how you react, how you, you know, anything. Your emotions, you're the one in control of everything. And I love that. You're kind of unstoppable. Do you know what I mean? It's a dangerous energy to be in. In a very good and powerful way. Because if you use it the right way, then it's amazing. It's magical. Do you know what I mean? And you're not taking advantage of your energy. You're just not letting anyone else take advantage of your energy either. And that's like... I hope I'm making sense. <laughs> Let's get Taurus's energy. It might be, might be a long reading. But be worth it. Two of Wands, okay, choice time, decision time, it's time to choose a path. I always see the Two of Wands as a conscious choice. It's a conscious choice. Am I going this way or that way? Am I being led down this route, down this route? Path A, path B. I've got to think about it. I've thought about it, I'm thinking about it. Tell me more. I'm going with a fire sign. This could be you, this could be someone you connected to. Take it as it resonates with the roles as you see fit. All the fire energy around you all the time. It's not, if it's not just a fire sign that you're dealing with, like, there's a lot of action, do you know what I mean? You're on, you're moving, you're, you're busy, you're active. The seven of Wands. So someone is, is someone choosing to come and defend themselves? Is someone, um, Pentascorpio Pisces? Someone coming to defend their emotions, their feelings, how they feel? How they view you, wow. There's a lot of sexual chemistry here. There's so many ones, a lot of ones. Some of you could have a child with this person. There's a lot of passion between the two of you here, a lot. But I feel like maybe you've... You've either moved on or you're considering doing it. This is a soulmate. Ten of Cups. That's what I've seen, in the, that's what I've seen just a second ago and I was a bit confused. It's like, I've seen the Ten of Swords. It's like, so are you... But the Two of Pentacles, so it's like, are you wondering whether to leave something? Whether to end something? Some of you are. Those of you that are already in a commitment, in a connection, you're wondering whether to leave it. I feel like you might be questioning whether someone loves you or not, or how someone feels about you. Someone's got a lot, someone's got a high sex drive, I'll say that. Tell me more. Tell me more please, Taurus. Truth. Bam. Ace of Swords. Someone's ready to come and speak the truth, tell the truth, reveal something, open up. The ace is blessings, yes cards. So I feel like this is very much going to go in your favour. Oh, somebody with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Someone's stressed out overdoing this. Someone is very stressed out overdoing this. Someone's got to come and defend themselves with some truth and they, they really, they're really playing it. Or how they say it, what they say, do you know what I mean, when? They're playing it over and over and over again. They're overthinking it a lot. Well, because these secrets here, that's got to be exposed. The moon, could be dealing with the Pisces or a Cancer. What on earth? There's something unseen. This could be emotions. It could, because the moon also does represent that. But nonetheless, it's mischief. Something is unseen from you here, Taurus. But again, going back to, you know, 
the advice or the messages from the, um, the universe as, as you back deck from the oracle deck it's like you're not asked anyway if this is unseen from you it's because it's not in your energy do you know what i mean i feel like this is very much i feel like you're the one, only one here you're the one like yes it might be hidden from you but that's because you're in the process of doing your own shit do you know what i mean it's not something where you focused maybe um some of you are going on a very spiritual journey some of you are looking into astrology moon cycles some of you are not reliant or you know some of you are trusting your own advice your own intuition give me one more but i feel like this is all hidden from you one more please for taurus we'll find out when we clarify what someone loves you that's what's hidden wow someone loves you someone has got some major feelings for you and that is what's hidden like i said the moon can also represent hidden emotions someone's proper stressed on how to tell you wow why it's like i feel like there's a little bit of intimidation fear is it fear of rejection uh, rejection we'll find out i'm sure oh someone doesn't want to argue someone's going to come and fight for you at the right time divine time is at play here the wheel of fortune so this is either a conflict that's ongoing but i feel like it's someone's about to come and you know just with the surrounding cards someone's ready to come and fight for you but it's an in divine timing it's at the right time when you blocked him when you don't want him i hate that why do we see that all the time <laughs> some of you are still too invested in the devil you are in whatever way you might still think about about him too much you might you might be triggered by him too much okay so this listen my my readings are not like you find it when you went to they're not time stamps this is timeless so we're all on different journeys here and different you know different levels of the path you're all you know you're all at different steps different processes so this is happening this energy will resonate with you when you're in an energy of not being attached to the devil you're not triggered by the devil you don't let the devil control your emotions in any way this is when this energy will resonate with you so that for the majority of you that this is resonate, resonating with right now for some of you this is a future reading so come back um but for those of you that this is resonating resonating with right now it's because you are no longer triggered you're completely unbothered unbothered by this person it doesn't they don't they don't enter your head do you know what i mean so now they're coming back <laughs> you're gonna hear from the devil some of you are dealing with the capricorn let's clarify i see the eight ones communication but I already see that with the Ace of Swords. That's true. But listen, if it's not happened, if it's whatever it happens, it happens at the right time because this person has got a lot of thinking to do before they do it. So they've got to do a lot of analysing, possibly going over shit, reciting stuff, maybe, you know, they've got to get there, they've got to get it right. Because it's like, I've got one shot, I've got one chance. I've got to do this. Could be something to do, uh, something to do with a third party situation for some of you. If it's not a third party situation, it's about how they're hurting over you. For the majority of you, it is a third party situation. The three swords and the ace of wands. This is a one night stand, or this is a fuck up. This is a bad judgment. This is a. This is a. This is an impulsive mistake, which resulted in this. That will be for everyone. General reading, you know, not personal, so take it as it resonates, but there's pain nonetheless, and it's because someone went towards something else that was not you. That could have been just something for the self, or it included, it, it included another. Someone's sad. Someone doesn't want to argue with you anymore. Someone also kind of misses the arguments, because they don't get a rise out of you anymore. So someone, it's just your energy, do you know what I mean? It's, there's a fine line between love and hate, guys. Fine line. So for all that energy that you're putting into someone because you love them, there's a very fine line in doing it because you hate them or you feel like you hate them. You don't hate them. You don't. It's misdirected emotion. Do you know what I mean? Like, and someone misses you not rising to their arguments, not rising to the occasion like the bull that you are. Do you know what I mean? They want that. They want... Because for all of the time that you did that, they knew that you cared. Yep. But you've reflected on that. You thought, hang on a minute, I'm either on to you or I can't do this anymore. I've got to let it go. 
Tell me about this two of wands, please. I feel like every now and again this person possibly could have just threw something in your energy just to see if you actually did still give a fuck. If you would still argue back or fight back in some way and for a long time you did. Um, but you don't anymore. Could be done with a Leo strength. Someone's gathering the strength and the courage to go towards what they want. And again, it's a conscious choice. But it's taking a lot. They, need to go, they want to go towards a wish fulfillment and that, I believe, is you. With this Nine of Cups. It's like, just look at you. No gender in tarot. Male or female. But it's... All over Taurus's energy, and it's not just me as a reader. Do you know what I mean? I do still read, I do still listen to other readers, and listen to something about Taurus energy right now that is different. So, if somebody's picking up their bollocks. Sorry, my language. Someone's picking up the balls. I actually did say balls this time, not balls. <laughs> Someone's picking up the balls, um, or the lady balls, and they're gonna be going towards the wish fulfillment, what they want, going towards what they want. And this is a choice, like I say, this is gonna be a bit of a bit of a long reading. Give me one more for that strength. Uh, sorry, one more for that two of ones, please. Four of swords. And again, is this because you're chill? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? You're zen. You're zen. You're zen. And I feel like also, I feel like someone could have done some similar work maybe or some spiritual work or meditation if not, you know, yoga, um, breath work sound healing you know someone could have done something whether that's you or them or both but there's work that's been done and i feel like if it's on their side which i very much do believe that there has been something it's as every time that they do get into a medit like in, in some kind of meditate meditative state um it's you that's been on the mind you but it's also like bringing epiphanies into their energy like shit i've got to do this i've got to speak i've got to tell the truth I've got to defend what I've done. I've got to own up to what I've done or something along them lines, you know what I mean? It's karma for their own inner peace. But maybe at the same time, it's like after the amount of epiphanies, it's like, wow, I actually want to build and work with Taurus. She don't know that though. It's gonna watch her. <laughs> you're being watched. You're being watched working. <gasps> you're being watched at work. You are being watched at work. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. So whatever you're up to, however you work, someone is keeping an eye on you, checking up on you, watching. If you're doing shit online, you're watching. They are part of your fan base. <laughs> Interesting. Tell me about this seven of wands, please. Thank you. Shit, ten of cups. Look, some of you got children with this person. This was a very happy environment. Oh, shit, someone's missing it bad. I can't make this up. I can't make this up. Someone's missing you and the family environment a lot. Listen, you've got a very nice love language about your Taurus, and someone missing. Someone's missing that. Someone is missing that a lot. Someone that's walked away from you, or you've walked away from them. Take it as it resonates. However, that went down. It's, it's like, I've got to speak, I've got to speak, I can't just keep thinking about, I can't just keep thinking about Taurus anymore, I can't, I can't keep these feelings to myself. I love them, I love them, yeah I do. <gasps> Shit, the tower, is this like a shocking, a sudden realisation, is this like a shock to the system here, like whoa, I actually love Taurus a lot, a lot, a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. Shit. <laughs> a lot, a lot. A bloody lot. Ten of Pentacles, listen, you do bits. You do bits and you do bits for this person. And they know it. But it's like, you know, tornado time for them. Tornado time. And you're the tornado. Tell me about this Ace of Swords. Wow, crazy reading. Tell me about this Ace of Swords, please. Guys, the Ace of Swords, clarified by the Ace of Swords. 
I mean, there's still many, many cards in this deck. I've pulled one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One card, like seven cards. I mean, you know where I'm getting at, but <laughs> powerful, potent, strong. The truth is coming. The truth is coming. The truth is coming. Four of Wands, you're on the right path, Taurus. 1111, you've seen that a lot. There's no coincidence. These messages are for you. Listen, this is someone that you've been married to or had a very serious connection, commitment, shared a home with. You can feel them. You can feel them watching you. You can feel a vibe. You know there's a vibe with whoever this is. Husband, father, Aries. <laughs> Can't deal with it. Tell me more. Tell me more for this ace of swords. Oh, ace of pentacles. Temperance, can we build on this please? Can we take our time? Can we take our time and work on this? I want to. I want to heal this. I want to fix this. I want to temper to this. Could be dealing with the Sagittarius. There's a shitload of truth there, man. Shitload. Maybe from both sides as well for some, you know. You possibly could have been holding back emotions and feelings. Maybe all of you have, but for reason. Um, so they could be honest, honest stuff from both sides about how you're feeling. But for most part, you're going to hear about how they want to take the time. You know, fix this slowly. Can we heal this together? Can we work on this? Can we build on it? It's too good. To, it's too beautiful to not to. Do you know what I mean? There's too much invested or looking at this differently could be dealing with the Pisces. I'm looking at how I behaved differently is what I'm getting. Someone was non-committal in and out, page of one's energy. Someone never felt like the old your explanations or answers, that's who this is. And now they, they completely think otherwise. It's the opposite, they know that they do. They never thought that the old an explanation for shit. But now they know that they do. Whether you want that or not, it's a different story, do you know what I mean? I feel like the majority of you don't. But the universe works in crazy ways. I'll tell you about this nine of swords, please. This is a lot of thinking, a lot. Oh, shit. Gemini energy about you, the connection, what they've what they've messed up with, what they've lost. And this this isn't necessarily a choice a choice. This is just about your connection. You know, with the, with the lovers, sometimes it's it is a re it is a representation of a choice being made. Sometimes between two people, but there's not three people in that card. There's only you two, like gazing at each other, like in a mad little way, mad little way. It's like they've there's always been a very strong connection. Always, this person just never wanted to admit to it. I think. <sighs> can't read. I can. I can. I feel like I don't even need the cards to read for you, Taurus be an Aquarius that you're dealing with but you're gonna get exactly what it is that you want you've wished for this person to show you how they feel about you you've wished for this person to express all that you did for them and all that all the amount that you loved them you've wanted and wished for them to show it back and they didn't they didn't so it was all more about you know I'll just see if they still care by throwing something in, in you know to piss them off See if they're still triggered by me. And now because you're not, it's like, shit, does Taurus not love me anymore? Taurus doesn't love me anymore. I need to go and tell them that I love them because I've lost them. I feel like I'm losing them. Mm -hmm. Give me one more. It's like the... I don't want to sound dead shit when I say, but it's like they knew they still had you when you was heartbroken over them. Do you know what I mean? So it's like you've dealt with that. You've healed from that heartbreak for you. And it's like panic now. With three pentacles. So they want to work with you. They want to work with you. I've already said this. I've already said this. Listen, a lot of you have put a lot of, like, all of that love and passion. You put it all into yourself and work. You know, you put it all into yourself and your pentacle or into yourself and your family, your home. And it's because of all these swords. Every single sword that was put in your back, you've flipped it and you've turned it into love for yourself. For yourself. And it's absolutely like, got someone looking at you in some kind of way. The Emperor. You know, someone that was very manipulative. They, like, very manipulative. They, they're abandoned. Like, they, they, they feel abandoned now. They, like, they're like, 
Where have you gone? Taurus, what are you doing? What are you up to there? What are you up to there whilst you're not asked about me? Do you know what I mean? I don't like shite today, don't I? <laughs> What's new? Yep, me. Feel lost. They don't know where you've gone. <laughs> well, that was dead shit to say, but they don't know why you they don't know where you've gone. Tell me about this moon, please. Oops, justice. Could be done with a Libra. Justice is being served. Because you've moved on. Honest to God, I can. Justice in the chariot. Come on. Come on. Can't make this any clearer. Our spirit cannot make these messages any clearer for me. Any clearer for me. Or for you guys. So if it's not your story, it's not. I'm sorry. Maybe it will be in the future. So, you know. But because you've moved on now, you're in that chariot, you don't care. You don't care. Sorry, Taurus, I love you. Hey, Taurus, I love you. I'm so sorry for Taurus. You know, I've learnt my lesson, Taurus. I need to tell you how I feel about you, Taurus. What the f... Jesus. Some of you, it's a water sign. Could be younger. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Someone has to tell you how happy you actually did make them. You know, you made... No one, they could have tried to find other shit. Never, never, ever matched to your love language. Like, you've got a very different kind of love language about you. Listen, they want to have some sex as well. They do. I feel like there's a, you know, there's a, a sexual tension that has built up. That's built up. And that's about to release. Right? They can't deal with that anymore, the sexual tension. It's all got to be spoken about. And it's because you've moved on. Look. It's because you've got in your, in your boat, the Six of Swords energy, you've got off. You've stopped waiting or wanting this communication, this effort, this want, this this passion from this person. You've stopped wanting it. Wow. Give me this Queen of Cups. <laughs> Ten of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles. I'm sorry I took a while. It took me a minute. Shit, it took me a minute. Look. The Emperor. Listen, you've been very much connected to this person already. Married, got a child, a very serious commitment. You've been together already. But the Ten of Pentacles is being returned to the Queen of Cups. It might have took a while. You could be dealing with another Earth sign. But listen, this has took a while, but it's about to be re-offered. It is. It just is. It just is. Some of you have got a new job and that, right? Because there's something about your energy, Taurus, that is just glowing. It is glowing. And it's it's like you're attract. maybe you're attracting so many other people and so many other things. So this person is not, it's not in your, you know, it's not in your vision. It's not, so that, that's the release. And it's like, maybe they have tried to trigger you and, you know, bring you into an argument in some way. Or they want to find out if you still care about them. And they've not been able to do that. So it's like, shit, I've got to come in now with the truth. I've got to, I'm going to lose Taurus. Have I already lost Taurus? Can I offer this to you, Taurus? Can we can we speak now? I need to tell you how I feel. Don't get in that chariot. <laughs> Amazing energy. You've got some, you, you know, I say it all the time. But it is what it is. You know how I read. Uh, but this is what we've got, Taurus. Beautiful reading for a Tuesday. Let me know how it went for you. Let me know what you think about the new Oracle deck. Um, but yes, I love you all loads. Like, share, comment and most definitely subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. Mwah. Love and light.